Day six. Hello, my gravy tibbies, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 Seven Days of Madness Extravaganza, where I'm trying to get every single achievement in Hearts of Iron 4. It's a video game about this plane. Today, we are going to switch it up as we are on the beta patch, and we're going to attempt to get an achievement I almost went for when I showed off the update, but I thought, no. I'll save it for this. I should have, in fact, not saved it for this. Uh, yeah, also, we're trying to hit 760,000 subscribers on this channel, by the way, and when we do, if we hit it by the end of the Seven Days of Madness, you have until tomorrow to do it, by the way, because this is day six. Uh, I'll do another Seven Days of Modness, where we'll do Seven Days of mods on Hearts of Iron 4. Probably next month, not right now. So sadly, not because I dislike the Italian tree, but because it's kind of a pain to do, we have a few achievements on Italy that we can't just get in one game. But we can get two achievements today. First off, we need to be the Pope and capitulate the USSR, and then as the Pope, Restore the Roman Empire. <laughs> now, the problem with that is uh, we are being, we're going to be playing on non-historical. And uh, a lot of things could get wacky here. Uh, so I think realistically what we need to actually do today is make sure we do a early war. And we do the cheese strat to get France and the UK out of the way immediately. Uh, otherwise, we won't be able to get a lot of people in the faction to get the, uh, the early stuff we need and get Rome done and out of the way. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. But I think we can do it with the old Rambler Rooney try. You know, people always ask me how I came up with the old Rambler try. And you know what? I don't know. It just it came to me in a dream one day. So as usual, we rush down Ethiopia as quickly as possible so we don't have to deal with them going into exile. Not that it would matter too much as wherever they're going into exile, I will follow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to actually just fight on Yugoslavia this time around because they are guaranteed by France, which should get them in the war and I'm obviously gonna need Yugoslavia anyway for the whole Rome thing. There we go, got our first collab off on the French, now we are going to declare war on Yugoslavia, France will join and we will end it quickly. I mean hopefully we'll end it quickly, I don't know if the AI France is gonna have taken anything to weaken their disjointed government, but it doesn't look like it. We go, that is France done, and we also have everyone else capitulated there as well, I think. Oh, never mind, they didn't make a faction, so I'll have to get all the other guys anyway, but that is no problem, because I'm going to declare war on the UK, and they should all join in on the Allies. I'm hoping they're all going to join in on the UK, but this is not historical. Things could get a little bit wacky. Never mind, I guess they're making their own little faction. I'll have to deal with that. I thought I'd uh, try something a little tricky over here. <laughs> And it actually worked! And just in time for the next step of the operation! So when we declare war on the UK now, we do have to go ahead and get everyone else we need in the, uh, the war too. So let's get started on that. Kind of a, I messed that one up a little bit. I've already got the UK to 100% capitulation without getting everyone I need in the faction. <laughs> Blew my load too early! Okay, so I've taken enough land for now. Now we need to just focus on getting the Pope in charge. Uh, which means I'm gonna gonna have to just do a whole bunch of this stuff or potentially start a war and then uh, lose a bunch of land, uh, which will probably make this a lot quicker. We're just going to go to war with Spain. Uh, we're not going to have to finish this war for a long time, so we're going to have to be worried about whose faction they're going to end up joining. Right, we're just going to let them take over a bunch of land so we get Mussolini deposed, and then we need to go ahead and do the monarchy stuff and not win that war, else it's going to go all the way back in power of the monarch. Okay, nice. So I'm going to get it down as low as physically possible, just so it doesn't go too far back up when I win the War. All right, so now that we've uh, finished the war, we do have the ticking modifier Lost Core, which should go ahead and make this a lot quicker for us, but I probably should have saved my first decisions uh, until after I had gotten this, because it's going to take a little bit longer now. Interestingly enough, we do have the provisional Russian government. They actually won the civil war as well, uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just say they, they didn't exactly do it on their own. <laughs> the event where the US demands territories from me, and I can't afford going to war anyway because I need to get this focus done, so uh, <laughs> interestingly enough, Canada is now gone. Well, Germans are doing me a favor with this one. I could 
snipe a bit more land, but then again, that might mess up this thing. But I'm going to stay in the German faction anyway, just in case they declare war on me. But I will go ahead and uh, deal with the Germans later on. Uh, although they still made my job a lot easier if they managed to kill the Swiss here. Because uh, then I don't have to have the 400 billion day justification you usually have to wait. So we're down to 38% now and we needed 8% in favor. So it shouldn't be too long. I imagine another year and then we can finally get rid of this guy. Right, we got enough and it's time to finally get rid of him. All right, now all we need to do is get our moniker support up to 50% and we should be good. Yes, it begins. No idea what's going on in the world right now. Uh, I haven't been paying too much attention, but I think the Japanese are now at war with the Chinese because they declared war on communist China, but Germany is also at war with them because the Swiss, who they failed to kill so long, joined the communist Chinese faction. And Russia is, um, yeah. The Russian Dominion of Japan. Okay, so once you've done the first liturgical reforms, you then have to wait a whole year to be able to do the decision again. But once we've got that, we should have the Pope. And then, uh, the Japanese have made it very convenient for me by joining the Axis. We have to just capitulate the Russians and restore Rome. Ah! I can finally continue playing the game. And there he is. Papa Pio. Now, with the power of the Pope, we get a bit more of a focus tree down here to have fun with, and I will indeed have fun with it. There we go. We're now so wide on the map. If your monitor brightness is up too high, you're probably blind. All right, so before we backstab the Germans, we're going to do a time for war, which will give us a super heavy tank chassis in production cost, minus 20% and more armor on it. Also, a bunch of war goals I'm not going to bother using. There we go. We also get given the, uh, the hand of God, which <laughs> we're not going to use. We will go ahead and modify the hand of God into something more usable. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do Mare Nostrum as well while we are here and start reintegrating some land and getting cores. And there you go. There is the first achievement, Holy Roman and an Empire. Perfect. Uh, now all we need to do is capitulate the Russian Dominion and there's our other achievement done. Having to shore up all the defenses everywhere because we are going to have uh, one hell of a front line when we leave the act so the surprising thing about all of this is that this whole time, the AI has still yet to actually beat the Chinese. I don't know what's going on over here, but I know it's nothing good. Yeah, this is literally the only war going on in the game right now. They've lost 2 million, and the Germans alone have lost 2 million. The Japanese aren't even fighting. That's a very interesting tactic, Japan, just letting the Germans do all the work for you and, uh... Yeah, I can definitely see them struggling. It is more than time for us to say goodbye to Germany. Oh my god. They just got pieced out. And they didn't get anything. <laughs> hey, let's see uh, how this goes. Things first, just gonna destroy the Hungarians and then the Portuguese and then uh, we'll figure out what the hell's going on with this front line. Things were going well in the war for a while, but then I completely ran out of oil. Uh, now I'm trading for a lot of oil. I'm not sure if it's getting intercepted. It doesn't look like it, but uh, we're going to quickly try and get some oil. Here we go. We have secured some of the oil. We'll try and get the rest. Uh, that should be enough now just to take me up into the positive, even though I have so much oil. It's still not enough. I can't point why that might not be enough, but it might have something to do with Super Heavy Tank. have something to do with that, right? I just, uh, we, we can't point any fingers yet. So, for some reason, I have still yet to get, like, any tanks going. Uh, I've only really just started producing them, but they are modern tanks and they should help. And yeah, the pitiful state of my air right now, I cannot get any rubber, obviously, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's in the wrong faction. And synthetic refineries, it shouldn't be too bad. We should catch back up eventually, but I'm pretty sure I've already demolished their air force anyway, so, uh, no big deal, other than the cash. The cash has all been blown up. Uh, yeah, so when Whenever I get enough tanks, I'm going to fix up this uh, mechanized unit and add some uh, bad boys in because it's doing okay, but it really needs just a bit more oomph to it. Uh, so yeah, I'll just be slowly swapping those out as I get more and more tanks come in, and we should be able to make a pretty good breakthrough here. And uh, thank you, MacArthur, for being the Pope's biggest supporter, apparently. Yeah, America has done nothing this entire game. Get him. What are you? What's happening over there? News is, I just destroyed the Germans. The bad news is, 
the Russians aren't at war with me anymore. I think they just got peace, uh, peace now because they got their independence from Japan. Uh, I do have a war goal on them, but I have a truce, so I can't go in just yet, which is annoying. But it was a big reason the Germans collapsed, at least. And, you know, for my disgusting tanks and rubber production I now have. You see, I thought I was going to have to wait till nukes to break that, but apparently just adding a super heavy tank as support company to every single unit you have does a good job. Uh, yeah, the modern tanks as well, with super heavy tanks, <laughs> they do pretty well. All right, so our truce is up with the Russians in June, but we still have to get all the way over to Japan, and I just looked at the damn casualties. What a minor. I feel like mine are going to be even higher. Five mil. I expected a lot higher. <laughs> I just realized I'm making 33 modern tanks a day. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Um... Well, that is a interesting turn of events. Sorry, Russia. I can't do that. Uh, if I didn't have to get this stupid achievement, I would 100% join you right now, Russia. But sadly, <laughs> you just picked the wrong day. Let's do it. I have already completely broken them. There is nothing left of the Russian army. Wow, I was um, I was trying to deal with these three Russian tanks because uh, they kept crossing over. <laughs> I was just microing it for a while. And uh, I've just noticed my army's already made it to the other side. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again, Paradox. Please do not remove super heavy support tank companies. They are the best thing ever. And I just enjoy making entire armies disappear with a click. That's right. It's your favorite. The best. The most perfect nation in the world. Regnum Bosporia. Oh, Regnum Bosporia. Just independent again in the world. I don't even own them. <laughs> Uh, it, it's just actually disgusting how powerful this is, but I feel like Paradox is gonna take this as a, oh, it needs to be nerfed when it doesn't. This is just such a unique scenario that, like, one nation can do, and it's the Pope. Uh, otherwise, having super heavy tanks in every single one of your units just isn't worth it. I guess, uh, China got split between Yunnan and the CC click. When did that happen? Was that always there? Was I blind? Yeah, I just, I don't think I even want to know. I'll be real. God, did I even get the achievement then? I'm not sure I got the achievement right then because of the, uh, the peace, co the peace conference just fired immediately. Okay. I did get it. I did get it. Okay, well, I guess there's just one last thing to do. I also like how I lost uh, India a long time ago, and Portugal's just kind of... <laughs> they just live there now. Yeah, units don't do too well when they're out of supply, though, so we got, we got to make this one quick. If you didn't know, supply is actually just a made-up concept. If you just ignore it, it can't hurt you. Sometimes you have to realize that starving to death fighting for China just is not worth it. Also, please tell me that I only have to capitulate Japan. Thank God. Quite literally, thank God for me, Papa Pio. Uh, you know, also put a good word for me, because, yeah, I've, I've killed a lot of people. A lot of people. Uh, so, again, this game really asks the question, are super heavy tanks in, in support companies uh, overpowered? I'm going to say no. I think they're underpowered, and you should not remove them, Paradox. They're really bad. They're the worst unit you could ever make. Uh, they don't even give my uh, infantry that much. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're underpowered. It's safe to say that Rome is back on the menu. Uh, except the uh, Regnum Bospori. They're independent, chilling, with their best bud, Alexei. But you know what? That was pretty fun. Uh, it was a lot of waiting around just for a very quick overrun of all the lines, but that is how I like to do it, because I like having my ridiculously overpowered unit. Uh, but yes, there we go. We got all the achievements we were looking for today, and we will have to come back for not today at some point, which will probably be uh, a little while, because we've done quite a few Italy games already recently. Uh, but if you enjoyed the seven days of madness, don't worry, there's one day left for you to enjoy, so you best hit the like and the subscribe button down below if you want future days of madness <laughs> but anyway regnum